mga besh, hi mga mamshi. Uh, unfortunately, today I am still incarcerated. <laughs> no, I'm still on uh, self-isolation or self-quarantine. On my last video, I mispronounced. I mispronounced quarantine. I said quarantine. But anyway, I'm sure you had a good laugh. Kung ilan man sa inyo nakakanood. By the way, mga best, if you're new, if you just see me for the first time, please, please, please do subscribe to my channel. If you like what I love, which is perfume, please do subscribe. And you never know, you might see a perfume that I will do a review of that you're interested in. I might convince you to buy them. Or not. <laughs> or like... Or no, I'll make you change your mind. But anyway, mga besh, oh, yeah, just, I'm really, really bored. I want to go out, at least to the grocery store. I cannot, we have to do the right thing, but I'm like losing my mind. So why not? Because I, I still have a lot of, not, not just that, I still have a lot of perfumes in my closet that I haven't opened, I haven't tried. So why not make a video out of it? So today I'm really excited because today we are going to be unboxing four perfumes, two of them designer and then two of them celebrity scents. So if you are interested, please keep on watching. By the way, mga besh, um, I'm still using my mobile phone. I'm, I'm sure you've noticed. Yeah, I've been really lazy and I just find it it's um, so much faster uploading straight from my mobile camera. I'm sure I've said that so many times. But yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying using my mobile phone because it's so quick to upload it to YouTube. But maybe if you don't like the quality for the few of you who watch my channel. Like, I mean, few. <laughs> Please uh, do comment below or maybe pag dumami na yung nanonood sa akin, I will uh, revert back to using my, my proper camera. But for now, yeah, I'm just gonna use my mobile phone because it's easier. I'm, I'm lazy, you can tell from how I look, yeah? Anyway, let's start uh, unboxing the celebrity perfume first. Okay, these two celebrity perfumes come from one celebrity? <laughs> it's from the same celebrity and I'm talking about I'm sure you've seen my thumbnail already I'm talking about from Jessica Simpson Fancy and Fancy Love okay alright we'll start with Fancy okay so this is I think it's I'm not sure if this is her first perfume but as you can see it's still in the plastic beige and I wrote some notes down. Oops, someone's calling me. Sorry, mga besh, interruption. A lot of people are calling me, asking what my result is. But anyway, let's um, press on, okay? So, as I've said, we're gonna unbox this first. It's uh, fancy. Eau de Parfum, 100 mil. Okay, I wrote the, the price. Okay, retail retail price for this is around fifty dollars. I, I can't I'm not quite sure but the average is around fifty dollars because um yung mga celebrity sense kasi hindi they don't sell it on the, like the bougie department store here so it's so hard to really um find out about the actual recommended retail price but I'd say around fifty dollars. I got this not so cheap. I got this from feelingsexy.com, which is uh, an online perfume store based in Australia. I got this for forty four ninety five Australian dollars. EDP a uh, hundred mil. Okay. My gosh, my interruption na naman. I think my delivery na naman. All right. Oh. It's nothing so. It I mean, this, this makes me happy. Okay. Finally. So, ang bala ko mga besh, I'm gonna unbox a lot of uh, my perfume in front of you guys. Then, I'm gonna do in-depth review like on some other videos because as you know, I talk a lot. So, that's how it is. 
Okay, let's see first the batch number. Okay, batch number is clearly there. So all you have to do is make sure that it match the one on the bottle. So ito mga besh. Sorry, baliktan na naman. Oh my goodness. Pretty. So it just says fancy there. And her, her signature, Jessica Simpson there. It's it's glass. Oh, I like the I like the details there. And it's sort of like a yellow gold. Hmm. Mabango siya. <laughs> what a review. Mabango siya. Anyway. And there goes the batch code. So, it match. Yes. And like I said on my previous video. Sorry, I keep looking there because there's a car passing by. Um, uh, you can uh, utilize that website, checkfresh.com to see kung kailan minanufacture or produce itong uh, specific bottle na nakuha nyo. Let's test it. I mean, okay, I'm back. I got like a post-it because I don't have a uh, fragrance strip set. Is that what you call Okay, let's test the atomizer. Okay. Mmm. To me, ang sweet niya agad. Okay, I, I wrote that it's um on the internet it's classified as oriental vanilla. And very sweet. Okay, like I said, this is just going to be first impression. It's sweet. Uh I'd say yung maybe fruits, apricot, it says. Apricot pear, sort of like, medyo pear than, than apricot. Because apricot is secretly sweet in my nose, I, I, I think. Yeah, it's nice. Um, yeah, it's classified as oriental vanilla. And kaya ako binili to, mga besh. Kasi uh, it's popular. First of all, it's popular in YouTube. And uh, I, I look at the notes on the um, the base note of this is ob obviously vanilla, and it has amber. Anything I am drawn for perfume so has amber and vanilla, especially on the base notes because yun talagang paborito kong notes yung combination na yun. Um, one of my signature perfume and how was yung I'm talking about like. Uh, late teens, early twenties um, was Tresor. You know that 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 perfume Tresor, na the original Tresor, the one with the amber color juice. I love that perfume, and I noticed eh, the mga perfume na may amber and vanilla combination is my favorite. Ang bango nito, it's it's very addictive. Anyway. This is uh, Jessica Simpson um, Fancy. What's the writing? Nakakaduling with all the details. Fancy. EDP in 100 mil. I want to see. Okay, this perfume is made in the USA. It's not made in Paris. Anyway, on to the next one. And this is Fancy Love. Okay, same. EDP, 100 mil. Okay, this one retails. Hindi ko rin ma, ma, I, I can't find a specific price because as I said, it's a celebrity perfume. Most of them are, are sold on discount perfume store or in the chemist here in Australia. They don't really tend to sell. Not all. I'm not saying all, okay? The department store don't really tend to stock up on celebrity perfumes so I found around $50 and this one I paid I didn't get much savings to $44.90 from where did I get this 
uh, price price wipe. Price wipe. It's an online perfume discount online perfume store here in Australia too. So, by the way, I got this because originally I was just gonna get this, okay? Oh my God, balik tan. Yan. But I got this because I seen the review of one of the uh, YouTuber that I'm follow, following. Her name is Jody Peacock. Shout out to you, Jody Peacock. If you ever see my videos, which I'm very, very, which I doubt. <laughs> very, very sure you're not gonna watch, gonna see my video, but let's see. Okay, this is made in the USA as well. 100 mil, like I said, EDP. All in white and beige. This one has like, um, grain on the thing very very nice it's very feminine oh my goodness okay so it's still glass still has like the details there and it's sort of like a like a matte gold sort of thing like a satin gold okay let's see it there's the batch number there. Make sure it match the batch number there. Okay. Let's test it, mga besh. Very, very professional with my... <laughs> how, how people gonna watch me, okay? I don't even like... Oh. Oh. This is different. Hmm, I think I like Miss Jody Peacock. Good on you because I am not regretting this so far. Oh my god, very almost like sweet. Hmm, and um, almost common dish. What does it have? Oh my gosh. That's what I'm 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 getting. Like uh parang I, I was gonna say boozy. Then I see it has pink champagne on the top note. That's what I smell. Um bergamot, sweet cha, maybe because of the peach blossom and sparkling. But we are gonna put this one just like the fancy to the test and I'm gonna do an in-depth review. My god, six minutes now. Okay, mga besh. Back to you, okay? I'll, I'm gonna pause this first. Hi, mga besh, I'm back. So, let's unbox the two designer perfume that I have. These two designer perfume, I'm sure you've seen my thumbnail, came from one designer house, which is Jimmy Choo. Yes, mga besh. I'm excited for this one because I've been meaning to get this one for a long time too. Uh, I had it maybe a month or two now, but... I still haven't opened it and okay so I wrote the price this is the recommended retail price for this one is 160 bucks so you can find it say in Meyer now Meyer.com.au which is an uh, a bougie department store we have here in Melbourne and to get the 100 mil EDP which is what I have here it's hundred and sixty dollars but mga besh I did save a lot here. I I got this for it says on Chemist Warehouse, which is a discount chemist store that we have here. Half price, but it's actually more than half price. So I got this for fifty nine ninety nine. Yes. And don't get me don't before you say it's fake, no, it's not fake. It's um reput it's a reputable um chemist um Chemist here. The, it's called Chemist Warehouse. Anyway, let's unbox this. Natatagalan na naman ako. There we go. Oh, by the way, sinulat ko on my note that this perfume was launched on February 2011. And is this made in Paris? I think they made, Jimmy Choo's are made in Paris. Yes, made in France. It's saying there. And then... Batch code is here. Imprinted siya. And yung box niya, 
medyo bulky and it feel it has a texture like parang snake skin and texture niya very very cute okay unbox mm. ayan lang very simple and tada you know, on um, in the internet, it comes of pink, pink juice sometimes, but no, it's not pink. So Jimmy Choo is written there. So like I said, this is in a hundred mil, and I read that the design of this bottle are in um they they had inspiration from Murano or Murano glass. You know those Murano glass from Italy, from Venice, I think. So that's where they get the inspiration when they when they design the bottle of this. So it's cool. Let's test it again because I'm running out of time. You know my video is taking so long again. Cat is okay. It's not magnetic, but and it's not heavy too. I don't not a fan of that, but I like the bottle. Mm hmm. Ooh. Mm, I, I, I can see why this is so popular. It's a very cloud uh crowd cloud <laughs> crowd pleaser. Okay, tinula to in classification. Eh? They say it's a fruity floral, yet warm and spicy and exotic. Mm, I can see that. I get the vibe though of Yung parang, um, it smell like shampoo to me. What is that? That sells in blue. <laughs> but that's just on paper and you have to really test this on your skin. So, there you go. I think if this is the kind of perfume, I mean, the reason why it's so popular, this perfume, it's because it, it, it's a multi-layered perfume. I don't think it's a very linear perfume. That's why a lot of people like this. So anyway, that's Jimmy Choo EDP 100 mil. Let's unbox the second one from Jimmy Choo, which is this one, Jimmy Choo Fever. Okay, mga besh. Again, I was just gonna get this. Okay, then I saw a damn review again from YouTube. This. Fabulous, darn, Miss Jodie Peacock again, I think. I think it was from her too. And they did a review of this one. And they said it's one of the sexiest perfume. So, let's see. Okay, the box, I can tell. Meron siyang ano. Ano ba yan? Yung parang, you know, those, I don't know what. Tapaka. This one's shiny. Where this one is more like matte. This one is like like metallic looking, but still has the snake texture, snake skin texture. Oh black. Hmm. So tells you already. Yes. It's got an ombre effect. Dark there, dark on the bottom, and then in the middle, it's light. Okay. Gold detailing there. And maroon or plum color or wine color. Of course, this is made in Paris as well, yeah? Made in France as well. Yes. And let's test it, mga besh. Again, with my professional fragrance perfume strips. Oh, mas maganda yata yung anong atomizer nito. Oh. Oh my goodness. This is sweet, fresh, and, um, oh my God, it's sexy. I was gonna say gourmandish too. It is said, it does say classified as floral gourmand. I was gonna say, did I say fresh, eh? Because 
on the top notes I can see that it has grapefruit. I think that's what makes it fresh. And then the sweetness, it says it has lychee, but I think more like the red berries. So I think they are right to say that this is a sexy fragrance. We're not sure yet because to me performance is very important you know especially at night during the day i i, I bring big bag kasi, big big handbag so if the um, if the perfume that i'm wearing that day is not gonna last me long i don't have a problem carrying it because i do carry big bags but at night my nighttime perfume mga besh i would like my perfume my nighttime perfume to have better performances because she's i like buying big bottles i cannot carry this in my small handbags you know what i mean at night of course you tend to carry small small bags you know like your you know your uh shoulder shoulder bags or what do you call it you know what i'm talking about you you carry smaller smaller bags during the night when you go out and if you're going clubbing, you tend to like those tiny, you know, you know the bags that you have that you that has a strap. You can't put big bottles of perfume in those bags. So, nighttime fragrances, I like. Uh, it has to be great performance. So I'll spray it before I go out, and it should last me all night long. But during the day, I'm not so fast. This is for sure a nighttime sexy sexy nighttime fragrance there you have it mga besh let's take a um, recap ako natagal na naman ako mga besh pasensya na yun but you know me these are my two Jimmy Choo's yes okay wala pa rin akong good filming area and my two fancy one is fancy fancy love from Jessica Simpson